The National Institute of Human Resource is concluding its two days conference that brought together human resource practitioners across the country. The national chairman of the institute addressed a media short while ago. Let's listen in. And we really appreciate you here in Kisumu. Their names I know, but uh, some of the faces have uh, disappeared a little bit, but I'm happy to see you again. Um, we are here for three days, uh, today, tomorrow, and the day after, uh, to talk about leadership and corporate governance as the Institute of Human Resource Management. Uh, we are having delegates of uh, up to, to about 230, 250, all practitioners, consultants, uh, ex um, people who execute HR functions. As uh, the executive director has already said that uh, our main, our core business as the Institute of Human Resource Management is to regulate the human profession function of the institute. We've come a long way as a profession and we are happy to state that currently we are having about 14,000 members and we are represented in all regions in Kenya as you've heard Mr. Abdisalam is representing um, uh, Nairobi Central and uh, Northeastern, Madam um, uh, Patricia Kello is representing Nyanza and Western and we have people representing Rift Valley, Coast Region and unfortunately all cannot be here today. So uh, just our, on uh, leadership and governance, we've emphasized on um, some key points in terms of how we'd want to make a contribution to this country going forward as human resource practitioners. We call ourselves the people, people the people representing, or not representing really, but um, making decisions on um, human resource in organizations and uh, country. And we all know um, the functions of human resource in any organization. It turns chance from um, ensuring the organization uh, design to ensuring that people, their competencies are built through capacity building, through recruitment, through the various trainings and development programs. We are responsible for grievance management of the disciplinary processes, if you'd like to call it. We are responsible for terms and conditions of service. We are responsible for uh, welfare affairs in organizations. And this then makes the entire human resource system. Uh, for today, uh, we are throwing a challenge and uh, this is what we have requested. We had our guest speaker, uh, who is the vice chair of the Justice and um, Legal um, uh, Affairs Committee of the National Assembly, Dr. Otienda Molo, and gave us very good highlights on um, how he thinks we should manage people so that we can become a better society in this country. We are having a myriad of challenges, but I think most important are the human resource challenges that we are faced with. We've addressed issues of uh, corruptions, both in the public and uh, private sector, why we are dragged behind our governance system at the national level and in our institutions. Our run call today has been one major thing that we are, we are asking, and we want to make a huge contribution in all the executive uh, recruitments that we are having in this country. We've realized that the um, recruit, executive recruitments done in this country are not professionally done, and not because of lack of the laws governing these um, um, exercises, not lack of systems um, as stipulated in the various statutes, not lack of competence of Kenyans' ability to do the work, but basically it is our attitude and approaches, wrong approaches towards, and the lack of professionalism in doing this. So we've said, for example, we are coming into the recruitment. I know we, are all, we all know that there's a vacancy in leadership positions. Most important is uh, that of the Chief Justice. As the Institute of Human Resource Management, we are asking government and the people of Kenya that we inject professionalism in this process and we will uh, we'll be using various forums including yourself to ensure that um, we participate actively on the, uh, the process of the recruitment of um, the Chief Justice. We'll be asking uh, His Excellency the President, the Parliament and all those people that they see how we can end up with a professional and a competent person if we just follow the right uh, professional human resource practice when it comes to recruitment. That is very key because then everything else will fall in place when there's good governance.
the chair of the Institute of Human Resource Management there just speaking to us from Kisumu on what is required in that particular field.